For most Aussies, getting vaccinated is a routine that begins as a baby. <laughs> Chances are you felt that little pinch more than 20 times before you even started school. Vaccines protect you from diseases like polio, hepatitis, tetanus, something called coronavirus, whooping cough, all these other diseases, and even the flu. Thanks. But the story of vaccines starts with smallpox. Smallpox was a terrible disease that infected humans for thousands of years. It was caused by a virus called variola and gave people flu-like symptoms, along with these red spots all over their body. It was really contagious, and 30% of people who got it died from it. Really early on, some people realised you were much less likely to get smallpox if you'd already had it. So some people actually tried getting it on purpose. Then, in the late 1700s, this English farmer realised that you could get a similar protection if you got infected with cowpox, a similar but less serious virus that mainly affected cows. This doctor took it a step further and deliberately infected a young boy with cowpox. And with that, this kid got the first ever vaccination. The term vaccine actually came from the Latin word for cow, as in cowpox. Since then, we've developed vaccines for all sorts of other viruses, and they kind of all work in a similar way. They give your body just enough of the virus so it learns to fight it off. Then, if you come across it again, your immune system will know the right moves to keep you from getting really sick. And they work. Remember smallpox? It doesn't exist anymore. In 1980, it became the first disease to be officially wiped off the planet. But recently, a few diseases that have become rare, thanks to vaccines, have started to pop up. Measles cases in the Americas are 11 times higher than they were a year ago. Europe has its highest rate in more than 25 years. And earlier this month, a couple of cases of polio were found in Papua New Guinea. Experts are worried we're seeing more of these diseases because of a global drop in vaccination rates. They say there are all sorts of reasons for that. Global conflicts and disasters can keep people from accessing vaccines. And there are worries that recent cuts to vaccine funding in the US and UK could make things worse. But experts are also concerned that more people are choosing not to get themselves or their kids vaccinated. They say some are worried about possible side effects. Vaccines are usually very, very um, safe, so it's extremely rare that there are any side effects, and usually the side effects that you feel is more something like a, a minor cold or something. Dr. Lucas says social media has helped to spread some myths about vaccination. And then there was COVID, when a lot of us had to get vaccinated, which left some people feeling a bit over it. Some people, they don't like to get forced to do something. And uh, during COVID, or in that time, there was like a big increase in anti-vaxxers. Around the world, health organisations are working to make sure people have access to vaccines and reliable information about them, so that we can reduce the number of people getting sick and hopefully stamp out some more diseases for good. One of the best inventions that humanity ever made uh, our vaccines, and um, no, no, no other medicine saves more lives. 